What to do with y'all? It's your boy MGZ coming at y'all with another video. And in today's video, we got a first time ever reaction to Tears for Fears with the song Sowing the Seeds of Love. Now, I've never heard of this band before. I don't think I've ever heard of any of the songs, but I do want to say a special thank you to Raja for the donation and the support towards this channel. So this one right here is for you. I decided to do, you know, my research on this group as I've never heard of them before. And the two names that popped up here was Roland Orzabal and Kurt Smith on the bass guitar. So we gonna get right up into this one. Let me know what you guys wanna see next. Like I said earlier this week, my headphones broke a few days ago, so I'm ordering a pair of new ones and then hopefully we can get back, you know, with the good sound quality, but let's get into it. I always love reacting to new music, man. Now my question to y'all, so the guy with the longer hair, would that be that uh, Roland? And then the other guy with the shorter hair, Kurt. Um, the one thing I wanted to point out quickly is the fact that I just watching this goes to show you how much, you know, music from back, back in the day, right, really influences today's music. And I see it and I hear it and I just feel it. Like just watching this, you know, it brings a smile to my face because of how, you know what I mean? Just how pure it is. And how like just authentic this song, this music is, and then I I was just thinking a little bit about the music today and how some of the music is just so heavily influenced from you know back then. But other than that, you know, very nice beat, very nice pace, great vocals. You know, these two right here, man, they're doing their thing. I really am enjoying this one.
what I'm really enjoying? I'm really enjoying this the sound of the bass guitar with the drum, the rhythms. But then not only that, but you hear the bass guitar and the drums and the rhythm of it. But then you can also hear the, you know, the the guitar. So I guess Roland also plays the guitar, the vocalist. He, I guess he plays the guitar. That's what it showed when I when I searched up the members there. But you can hear that electric guitar also, you know, chiming in there. But it's not, you know, the loudest one, right? It's it's kind of faint. Um, I think I think I may have heard the was that a trumpet I heard before. If it was, man, that was a real, that's a real nice, add a real nice touch to it, you know, and this song, like I said, it's positive, it lifts your vibrations, it makes you feel, it's, it's a feel good song, you know, you got the nice vibrations of the music, the frequency, it's just, you know what I mean, good song, pure song, um, yeah, I'm not, we'll talk more about it at the end. That's a really nice one. That's a beautiful song. And I think what I think what this one goes back to almost is, you know, what you sow, you reap, right? What you put out, you receive. And in this case, it seems that if you put in love, right, you put in love to, you know, the universe or you put in, you know, love to other people, you are going to receive that back, right? The same way as, you know, some people say you put negative energy into this world, you do bad things. You know, they talk about karma and karma is going to come back and, you know, and whoop your ass, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Tears for Fears, you know, they definitely got a lot of talent. And the one thing that really, you know, I really did like during the middle, I didn't pause, I didn't bother, you know, speaking on it because I was going to talk about it at the end there was, you know, at the beginning, he starts off with the, hold on. See how lighter his voice is. And then I think when we got to about, yeah, when they start walking, his whole voice, his, his vocals, his voice just went deeper. Okay. I really like that. I like the change in tone. And they caught their voices really do complement each other very well. Cause I didn't know Curtis, you know. Um, I didn't know he was, you know, he was singing as well. But then when he came on and you know he had his soft, like his little soft his soft verse there, of course, you know, it really it was really nice to see them complement each other very well. So obviously these guys got a lot in their bag, a lot in their catalog that I'm gonna have to dive deeper into. If you guys wanna see some more tears for four Tears for Fears reactions, let me know. Uh, once again, thank you, Raja. And it's your boy, MGZ, signing out, y'all.